What's up team, after we started crushing last episode and had some hypers and kind of run out poorly, we're back for it, another episode. This time you're playing versus a guy from the United Kingdom. Gotta show him who's boss here. I think we really played really well last episode, um, we tried to continue that, obviously. Gonna be checking the check 7 here. And actually I don't mind the race here on the flop. And we fold. We're gonna be limping the queen hand. And fold into a champ. He's a champ of the 6 He's a quick match, man. He's jamming a lot here. 10 8 suited. We're gonna limp. Once again, it would be a profitable champ. Just feel it does a little bit better when we limp it. Raising DS King here. So for the sound in the background guys. Got limping the 8s, he has been jamming a lot earlier. You definitely want to be trapping with a hand like that. And flopping sets as well on dry we bought, gonna be see winning. We try to get go for the three streets here, I'm pretty sure. Pretty damn sure. But he just folds the turn. Probably had a seven there. Gonna be checking the King Ten suited, flops rebound. I will also be floating the flop here, he will oversee by the swap. Hmm. I will call the turn again here. Another tank here, make less activity plops, and just hope it goes check check and win versus like X amount of bullshit hands. Hit the 7 on the turn. Unfortunate for us there. I'm surprised he bets. I mean, it makes sense. We don't have many aces. I'm ho sorry for the background noise. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. I don't know what they're doing outside. I'll be checking it down here. Queen High can be easily good. He bets 20 here on the river. I think I gotta call that. Yep, there we go. Oh, come on, man. Like, I don't know what they're doing around our house lately, but there's, there's so much shit going on. Uh, the good thing for me is that I sleep like really, really well, you know. I'm always sleeping really deep. There's not many things that wake me up. And you trapped with the check. Good for us. Unfl oh, God. <laughs> King! Damn it, dude. Alright, let's find a new opponent, guys. And we did so. We found the Russian, guys. So far, we did about 30 bucks on the session. Hopefully, you can turn it around now. Hopefully. I mean, it's always nice to play versus Russians. I have an open channel first hand now. I mean, obviously, Russians, there are a lot of good poker players over there. They're also a big chess nation. I get it, like, it's kind of combined. Like, there's a lot of good poker players that are also good chess players. Which makes sense. Oh my god, guys, I hope it's not too loud, man. <laughs> I hope it's not loud. I will just talk throughout the video, and that will kind of block it, I guess. By the way, if I hate one thing, it's Pokestar server restarts. It's like so ridiculous. Like, there's such a big company, and they always announce it one day prior. And I'm just there as a streamer, like, wow, shit. Now I now fixed my entire schedule around this with date. And you fucked it up. You know? You know, when I say, I take, like, I took yesterday off to stream today, and then on yesterday I get the mail that tomorrow there will be a server restart. I'm like, hell yeah, glad that you told me that one day prior to the server restart. That's a disadvantage of grinding the early European time. Pretty nice river here. I think we bet 20 here. Like, try to grab something like 2 pair and then do the race versus the Russian. He had 6 4. Okay. Makes kind of sense. Um, <laughs> went a little bit fancy there. I have a C bet here as well. Man, guys, I'm excited for Berlin, guys. You, you can't believe it, man. I'm excited to go on the plane, you know, make some nice shoot shots out of the, of the plane. Just talk about things, what's up. This is my brother in Berlin. I mean, I just saw my bro brother in Bavaria a couple of days ago, but he lives in Berlin. So it's still cool to meet up with him. 
And also, like, a lot of people contact me about, like, me playing, like, live poker, and then they ask me, like, can you go to that event? It's around my time, man. You can stay in my home and shit. It's, like, amazing, man. That's so great about this community. Like, especially in YouTube, I get a lot of hate, which I kind of understand, you know, as I always said. I'm, like, I'm a cocky and everything. I get that. This is, like, oftentimes really unreasonable, but, like, the majority of the guys are just so fucking great. Like, the office I got to stay at their home and meet up for a beer. It's, it's fucking great, man. It's freaking great. I'm limping here. I mean, he's tanking a lot, man. It's kind of weird. Feels weird, man. Easy bot for us to see that. Once again, we will see that this bot at really, really high frequency, but I don't think that matters too much. But we have to see that our kings here as well. I think we want to bet again here on the turn. Um, I think 7 and the deuce are folding a lot now. But once again, if you put 5 or 6 in our double bearing range, you might be over bluffing the turn here. Uh, with him tanking so much, man. I think we jam it here. As a bluff, where's the blocker bet on his side? Hopefully he doesn't hear us here with the 7. I mean, we don't rap like super much here, but I still think it's pretty tough for him to hear us here. We rap like two pair, you know, with the king will just call. Fold! Ah! King 3 heroes us here in the last second. God damn it, dude. We almost had him. We almost had him. He's like, what is this crazy Russian over there doing? He's not even Russian. What is he doing, man? He's German. How is he so crazy? We hold here, man, making the comeback happen. Let's go. <laughs> Alright. King or 10, baby. No ace. <laughs> no 4. Alright, alright. Let's go for the comeback. Let's go for the comeback, man. Alright. No, Queen 9. Queen 9 check. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's make it happen, guys. Let's make it happen. We have, we have six picks. No, we don't have six picks. We have three picks. Holy moly, man. Alright, hold. Oh, no heart. Yes, baby, come on. We're right in the mix. We're right back into the mix, guys. Holy shit, we have five picks. And Cardi with these dudes. Hold once more. Hold. For love of God, hold. Nice turn here. Let's go. We are in the ship lead. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a comeback! What a comeback! We chant the King Deuce here for 12. We are in the gym lead. Let's go. <laughs> please, please make it happen. Please make it happen versus the Russian. Easy champ with the Queen check off. And we take it down. <laughs> limp it. Limp. God, he's jamming every button. Oh, I gotta be folding that one. <laughs> please, please, one time. Nah, uh, he will see better spot every time and you fold every time. Damn, dude. <laughs> Limping to queen 5 here. Sea betting. Alright, alright, we're back to even, guys. Not a card here, but I would jam always limp. Alright, alright. <laughs> Fives is an easy jam. Building up some momentum here. Alright, alright, he's down to 420. A7 we have to call, but we get the walk. Oh my god, man, that would be such a sick win for us. That would be so sick. Alright. Jack folding the flop here. Oh my god, man, the struggle. This is an intense heads up, guys. We had, we had like, I don't know, half a big blind or something around for it? Oh my god, 2550. I've never made it to that blind level. Never made it to that blind level, guys. Holy shit. This is intense. Can it suit it, man? You can't call, obviously. But it sucks to fold it. Let's see, 10 8 suited. Wow, we can actually call this for 9.3. This is actually a call. It gets really close to a call. I'm not calling it, though. Alright, Queen 9, we have an easy jam here. You know, like if I didn't have an edge on him, I would call with the 10 8 suited, but I think we might have a small edge. So. Just give me a good hand here. Alright, 6 is we got a call here. Come on. I mean, the thing is like he never has deuces or something like that anymore. Let's hold. Six, baby. Come on. No. 
Ah, oh, that would have been fun. That would have been a sick comeback, guys. Ah. Oh. Couldn't win the deciding flip there in the end, man. Couldn't win the deciding flip. Ay, ay, ay. The pain, boys. The pain. <laughs> Shit, man. We're down 60 bucks in this episode. Let's try to win this one so we only down 30 on the day. I don't know why people check that board and just check fold, you know? He shouldn't give up there, but King Jack with limp get it in. Oh. Wow. Back to back top pair here. As I said, we gotta be batting the flop. I will see by the spot like close to 100%. But he also folds a lot to our C bets, I noticed. So maybe our double barrel with the bluff on the row was really bad earlier. With the 6 4. Pretty sure it wasn't good. Are we checking the flop here? Mm. Weird. Weird hand there. But no, we hit the check quite often there on turn. Like, not quite super often, but sometimes. And then we should call down, I guess. Hmm. Heads up is quite interesting. Back to Preg even, guys. Even stacks here. Checking the flop with the 4 sir. And calling, obviously. Betting Becky on the turn. And taking it down. Limping the Eastern suited. I <laughs> just got a new follower while I was streaming. Awesome. Thanks for support on Twitch all the time, guys. Speaking of following, also don't forget to subscribe down below. Man, we're growing really, really quickly here on YouTube. It's freaking amazing. Just motivates me more to put on more content. We obviously will go for three streets here. Oh, we didn't have Queen Jack there. Just give him King 10, you know. That's also good about our bluffy image, you know. He knows that I can fire it light here. I think we need to jam it here. We super poor rides on the river. I don't think we go for small value with a7 or thin value. So we jam and take it down. Not bad. Checking the 410 and folding. I mean, I'm interested to see like if how good jamming us in these spots. Sounds kind of weird, I know, but like. He will just have so many. He will just have so many. Uh, Seabird bluffs there, I feel. Looks pretty strong to me. We call with 9 7 though. And we have a gut shot now. Yeah, I'll jam. What in the world? <laughs> Let's go, guys. Alright, we win one. I think we go for a last one here. With this sizing, I never expected him to have 8 6 off. So when he bet that big, I was just like. It's just like some type of bullshit that we can push him off. Or get lucky down the turn, you know? So we're only down 30 bucks on the session. Let's win this one for a profitable one, guys. Let's make it happen. Oh, that's a big race, man. He does some weird ass shit, dude. Every now and then he just like something like that 90 here was all limp like what in the world is that? We don't have any backdoor draws. That's the reason why I'm thinking about like heroing with king. We're gonna be checking it and firing out big on the river. Once again, you know the spades missed down the turn or something. I don't know. We could min bet and try. I don't know if he calls min bet more often than like an over part. C bet the flop here. Should be careful, man. Last time with the king, I bet 20 on the flop. Just gonna be checking it here. He's not the. 
He's definitely folding enough to see bets for me to not double baron. Even though the queen is like one of the best double baron cards, obviously. I mean, probably the best. He takes it. Now, right, guys, for currently while I'm recording this, it's 12 a.m. Can't wait to go to the bakery and get some schnitzelbrötchen. <laughs> Basically, just schnitzel on the bun. Fucking insane. Because, yeah, sad service that today. While I'm recording this, so I fire up the stream later and record some videos prior to the stream. I don't know why we bet the turn here. Every time I just talk too much, man, I just do weird shit like that. But you know, kind of have to follow it up here on the river. Since he doesn't have a king too often here, so we just try to push him off an 8, which is pretty thin, yeah. Too bad. The 9 was like not have a good river as well to bluff, but I feel like when we bet the turn, we just have to do it. Easy limp with aces. Jam it, dude. He's doing some weird shit, dude. I'll be just calling, obviously, and be trapping. Scary bot here for us. But you know, we still have the best hand here 80% of the time or so. But it's not a bot like he will see bet like too much, I feel. Hmm. Weird sizing here, like real weird sizing. I think we call. It's a nice turn. He checks, I think we check ourselves. If he has a 3, man. I'll lose it. And I think we jam it. Hope we get a hero here from something. Really weird in hand here. I mean, the small, like, free was so weird that he didn't jam and everything. Threw out a really, really awkward hand. But we're back to even. That's good to see. Let's make the session even as well with a win here. I've min bet now. As I said, I did this earlier with the king and I bet bigger when I didn't have it. Seems to be working better. Slightly sizing mistake on my side here. I think we chan the king 5 pre. And he falls, okay, okay. King check, I will limp call. Yeah, but maybe you should check more versus him, like he's checking back so much here. No club in our hands, we are just folding the turn here to a bet. We could see better flop, but I don't think that's too good with the king high. Just gonna be checking it down, we don't think we wanna bluff the rule. He's never folding a club here, and he will have some clubs in his check calling range. A3 is just not falling there too often, I think. Because we should bear the club a lot on the turn as well. So I think we get hero there from the 8. Decent chunk of the time. Can we check in the check 3? And folding. Limping the 4-5 off. And flop the 4. You min bet it. And he calls. I check the turn here, and hopefully we hit a 4, a 5, a heart. Something like that. I mean, this is a really dead. It would go off and check, check on the queen, I think. Same hand here, but we were free rolling the turn. Too bad. And. I mean, if you min Betsy again, he just does this all the time. Maybe it's too aggressive to float that, though. I mean, that is pretty damn aggressive. But you know, like every time that's bought like that, he see bets, you know? But then again, I shouldn't have used this with calling, like with 7 5 off. I should just be calling down with the check, you know? That was a bad flat. That was a bad float. <laughs> Somebody just, you just float to float, you know? If he limps it here, we would jam the 10 for 9 bigs. Lines are quite high here. He trapped us with the king queen. Let's get there. 8 or 10, baby. Get that in a turn. Alright, so we lost 60 bucks here on the session, guys. I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I'll see you on the field again. Good luck at the tables. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.